Let's start with the air pressure and barometer. Barometer is basically an equipment which is used to measure atmospheric air pressure. And barometer is constructed by torsion tube in which there is a container or a broad jar in which mercury is filled over which we take an inverted mercury tube test tube or a long tube of 100 cm in length filled with mercury which is closed at bottom by a piece of glass now to understand the concept of torsion tube you must understand what is the role of air pressure in maintaining the levels of mercury in a tube say for example if we consider a jar in which mercury is filled and a tube of length l which is having vacuum is inverted and opened its mouth is opened when it is dipped into the mercury we can see in this situation the air pressure inside the tube is zero but the air pressure on the surrounding mercury layers will be atmospheric pressure which is the pressure due to atmospheric air now this pressure pushes the mercury so because of this pressure mercury is pushed into this tube because there is no opposition there is no pressure within vacuum so mercury started rising up and it is raised up to a level where the weight of this mercury will balance the force due to this atmospheric pressure onto the cross sectional area of this tube in the similar manner here we can see after dipping if we just remove the glass plate at the bottom of this tube the mercury level will fall up to 76 cm in length from the bottom layer of mercury in the torsion jar in this situation if we just calculate the pressure due to the mercury column which is 76 cm in length here you can see the pressure at the mercury level in the jar can be written as h rho g where h is the 76 cm height so the 76 by 100 in meter multiplied by density of mercury we can take as 13600 kg per meter cube and uh, this multiplied by g which is 9.81 now you can see in this situation the pressure after calculation will be 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascal which is considered to be one atmospheric pressure so this is the equipment which we term as a barometer and the level of mercury at any position in atmosphere at any location in atmosphere will give us the idea about the atmospheric pressure because as we have seen the mercury level is raised up in a tube up to the level where the weight of mercury balances the atmospheric pressure so in this situation we can say here the weight of this mercury column is balancing the atmospheric pressure which is acting on the layer of top layer of mercury in this jar now in sequence we will study about barometric relation this relation is basically the variation of atmospheric pressure with height as we have just now studied that uh, atmospheric pressure is given as uh, 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascal and it is uh, because of the pressure of uh, atmospheric gases or we can more precisely say atmospheric pressure exists it is due to weight of atmospheric gases and it also varies with height because as height increases the weight of atmosphere decreases above a point where we are measuring atmospheric pressure like say if we consider this uh, is our curved earth and if we talk about atmosphere it is extended up to a large height and at any point on earth due to the weight of atmospheric air the pressure exists if we wish to calculate the variation of this atmospheric pressure with height let us consider at a height x from the earth surface 
we consider an atmospheric layer which is of width dx. Say if the pressure just below this atmospheric layer is P, then the pressure just above the atmospheric layer will be P minus dP, where this dP is the pressure due to the weight of this atmospheric layer which is of width dx we have considered here. Now in this situation we can simply write dP as it is due to the weight of this atmospheric layer. It must be written as minus dx rho g. We are taking this as negative because the pressure is reducing as we increase the height. Now, if rho is the density of atmospheric air within this layer and g is the gravity, acceleration due to gravity which exists here, then we can rearrange this relation as dp is equal to minus dx g. And the density can be substituted by atmospheric form or density form of gas law as Pm upon Rt. As you already studied, P can be written as rho Rt by m, which is the density form of gas law. From here, I can use rho as Pm by Rt if I substitute it here. This pressure variable I can take on left hand side. It will be dP by P is equals to minus mg over rt multiplied by dx. As mg over rt we can consider as constant here if I integrate this expression at x equals to 0 that is on the surface of earth. Say if pressure is P0 which is taken as atmospheric pressure on the earth surface and say at a height h above the earth surface pressure is P. This integral will give us the pressure variation over the height if we consider Acceleration due to gravity and temperature as constant. So, integration of left hand side of this equality is ln of p. We apply limits from p naught to p, and on right hand side it will be minus mgh over rt as integration of dx will be h. Now, on integrating this will give us ln of p by p naught is equal to minus mgh over rt. And just rearranging this expression, it will give us p is equals to p naught e to power minus mgh over rt. This is the relation which we term as barometric relation. And this barometric relation will also lead us to develop some other relations and density and number of moles or mole density, molar density of atmospheric air. As p is equal to p naught e to power minus mgh by rt, here we can see that pressure is directly proportional to the density. So it can also be written as rho is equals to rho naught e to power minus mgh over rt, which will give us the relation of atmospheric density as a function of height. This is also considered as a barometric relation as density is just proportional to pressure. So, be careful about these relations. Similar relations you can develop about molar density of air at earth surface and at a height h. This is quite useful, but in using this expression we must assume that acceleration due to gravity and temperature of atmospheric area air remains constant or the level up to which these parameters can be assumed as constant this relation is applicable which is termed as barometric relation.